I didn't know what to expect by being here tonight. I sat on the side with tears rolling down my face. And I think it's a testament to the fact that the spirit is here. So let's get free. Abolition is not a politics or practice of resignation, but a politics and practice of resistance, of struggle, of co-laboring. It is not just the closing of prisons, but the presence instead of vital systems of support that many communities lack. It demands that we broaden and diversify our imagination to activate and stretch and complicate what historian Robin D.G. Kelly calls our freedom dreams. It comes from a desire to want a society that centers freedom and justice instead of profit and punishment. Abolition theology, it is an Afro-futurist theology. It is a queer theology. It is a liberation and womanist and muralista and disability liberation and trans and feminist theology. An abolition theology is an aspirational theology of repair. What would justice and our world look like if God was imagined as the source and creation of an abolitionist democracy that is not yet realized but ours to build? What would it mean and look like if we all decided to get free by releasing ourselves from the grips of the strong hands which too many of us have grown comfortable having around our necks? The work of freedom begins today. Right now. With me, with us, and we have a choice to be resigned with what we have, are actively imagining into being, and building future-oriented communities that the articulation of our wildest and most liberative freedom dreams cannot even match.